Okay, we are live. Absolutely, we're live. And there is the official time check. This is an emergency broadcast scheduled for 9.15. We started just a little bit, little bit after that, but we are live in the house and the lovely lady Brianna is here with me and we'll see. Hello. Some folks had asked for some later broadcasts and those folks that asked for it, they're getting it right now. And so we'll see if the notifications go out, A, and B, we'll see if some folks come in and scrolling across. Was there is... somebody earlier in the comment section? I think that was from the last show. Oh, okay. I think yeah, that was from your see... other oh, show. There's, there's yeah, one. there's a comment now, and that's a new one. And so, yeah, um, yeah we're going to do a, a live broadcast. We're going to catch people up on what we've been uh, all about working, uh, lately. Working. And oh, by the way, also bring up in one of those tabs the, the photo of this ring. I want to show them this ring. Okay. And there's yeah. also a link to the Etsy store associated with that photo. It's on my um, uh, on my Flickr. Go to my uh, Twitter and yeah. get the link. That's where yeah. That's where and so um, we can show them that and we can catch them up on what you've been doing. And we're going to talk about the Rolex brochure. Yes, that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about the Rolex brochure that we we were cleaning the place, vacuuming, doing a thorough cleaning. <clears throat> and we stumbled across this in mint condition. This is from about the year 2000. And that was when I bought my um, 18236. No, 18238, I think is the, yeah, the day date model number. Anyway. Uh, that's when I bought that from these folks, uh, Linquist and Beckstead or whatever they are. Anyway, they're down in, um, Tyson's corner in McLean in the Tyson's corner mall. And, uh, this brochure, if you, if you bought an expensive Rolex from them, you got one of these brochures. So we're going to talk, we're going to talk about this and we're going to show the pages of the brochure. And I've got a link to the photos on Flickr. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about how, how cool the Rolex watches were back in the year 2000 when I bought that puppy new. And so in the meantime, let's catch up on the comments here. Noel G is in the house. Yes, he was in. He was in early. Oh, Do you, rec you recognize in? him? Yeah. Is he one of yours? Yeah. He's from your channel. And is this, is, popcorn, this is an ask me anything. <laughs> you can ask Bree anything. Yeah, ask us anything. And Woo, it's late. You <laughs> serve some people asked for a late show. And those people that asked for a late show are getting Somebody a late show. Says it's better. And hi, do you like, like the, the Explorer, Explorer 2 Polar? I actually like the regular Explorer. I prefer the regular Explorer. Um, I think it's a classy watch. Uh, if I was going to go for something like the Polar, no, I would get just a regular uh, GMT Master 2. GMT, and we'll show some pictures of a really good looking GM, GMT, GMT Master 2 in that brochure that we're talking about. Craig, would you buy a used Trezor T? No, don't buy a Trezor. No, no, not used, not used, because that might be hacked. The whole point of having a Trezor is you're going to be in control of your private keys and so forth. Buy it direct from Trezor. Buy it direct from Trezor. Trezor.com or uh, it's Trezor.t or whatever their website address is, okay. but make sure you get it directly from them. Our Just wags Google is in Trezor. the house later is better. Hi, everybody. Okay, we might do some late shows then. What do you think, Bree? Yeah, late, I, like, I like late. Do some late shows, some uh, late like night shows. Nighttime. Noel G says hello again. And uh, Sunrise Beaches, have you been buying more crypto? More Bitcoin. <laughs> uh, Bitcoin, yes. Strictly Bitcoin for me. Bitcoin, I think, for Bree. Oh, yeah. Um, I've been getting and yes, I have too. bought some. I bought the recent dip a little bit. Uh, not a ton. A couple thousand dollars worth here and there. But um, yeah, I did buy I did buy some just playing around with some apps. The Strike app uh, that he did finally add for me the, the ability to buy Bitcoin directly there. And his fees are very oh, low. Strike. So I bought some on that. I bought some on a couple of the other apps I was playing around with. I was just trying to see what had the lowest fees and, and all of that. And so, yes, I have bought some recently. Uh, but fortunately, I bought it during the dip before this recent pump. That's good. So B Boozer says, uh, what brand shirt, what brand is, shirt Bree is Bree wearing? You've got two uh, shirts on. I've got two shirts. That's Under Armour? This is, is that... this is Under Armour. Yeah. I think so. And then this She's is. She's got to take it off and look. Eddie, Eddie Bauer. Eddie Bauer. Eddie Bauer. Yeah. Yes, Eddie Bauer. Yeah. You, 
Yeah. Do you want to just leave that off now that you got it off <laughs> or you want to wear it? It's up to you. I guess I could leave it off. <clears throat> they can see your, your watch and everything easier th this way. Okay. Yeah. So um, we got that one and let's see, we got, uh, what's your favorite Rolex sunrise beaches. I think one of the best all around uh, Rolexes is, is the date eight, uh, the 18, two, three, eight, uh, or the one, one, eight, two, three, eight, uh, the just amazing uh, do everything wear all the time watches, especially for people that have decent eyes, younger eyes. For me, I, I like the bigger watch <laughs> that's easy to read. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. if you got good, um, if you got good uh, eyes, then the, the Rolex date eight, I think is a, is a great all around piece. I wore them for 40 years. So, I, you know, I, I didn't wear them accidentally. It was on purpose. Uh, Kyle says, Hey guys, uh, late Hello. show today. Yes. Some folks asked for some late shows and we're giving them a late show. Uh, let's see. Brie is a modern, modern day, day goddess. Course. Craig is lucky to be graced by her presence. Yes. Oh, be, to you. be, to have her physically present, <coughs> excuse me, um, is amazing. She looks gorgeous in the photos, but she's more amazing in person. Thank you. And I have some photos to share on Flickr. That's right. We're going to share some photos. We're going to share a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. And um, and also, by the way, this ring, this ring. Oh, we didn't position that camera. We didn't even focus that camera, <laughs> did we? This ring that I have on, this is a, a Bitcoin ring. And can you bring up a close up photo? Uh, and uh, go ahead and find it. It's on it's on my Flickr. Just go back to the photo stream and it should be should be there in the photo stream. Uh, mm -hmm. This thing looks a lot better in person than it does in the pictures. But we're going to show you a picture anyway, because we can. And uh, let me cut to that. And so there's a picture of the Bitcoin ring. That's and the it's, side it, of it's it. sterling silver. Yeah. And so uh, I bought this on a whim on um, on Etsy. From, from a gentleman and it's super comfortable looks really it's, cool. it it's sterling like silver and it does go good with the titanium yeah it was reasonably priced i think it was around 100 bucks or a little less and i actually ordered another one from him so i'm gonna have two of them in two different sizes i'll be able to wear this one i can actually wear on my ring finger okay and in the winter time It'll be even more comfortable on the ring finger. It's a little bit snug right now. But um, if I put it on this finger, it's a little bit loose. So I ordered one sized to wear on the pinky. And so I'm going to have two. So for the winter time, I'll be able to wear this one probably on my ring finger and then the other one on the pinky. Yeah. So, so that's how we roll around here. And we're also talking to them about a limited production unit made in gold. He normally doesn't make them in gold, but we're we're talking to him. Could be the first so, one. So we'll see, we'll see we'll see how that whole thing goes. And he's in the Ukraine. He's in the Ukraine. He hand makes these in the Ukraine. The link is in the um. This actually, the link is not to this in the description. Maybe I'll add it. But the link is with the um, photo and share. on Flickr. It is with the the. the we'll, we'll get the link in there. Yeah, it's we'll right get the. There. Yeah, let's show him the screen. There it is. There's there's his store. It's called Adrian Silver, Adrian Silver. And he makes a lot of really cool silver things um, that that all kinds of cool silver things. So uh, Carlos should check that out because he bought that silver tutor of all things. So he should definitely check that out. Um, OK, let's see if we can catch up. We're falling behind. I have the Yacht Master in that catalog. Cool. I love the Yacht Masters. I'm a big fan of the Yacht Masters. Okay, uh, let's see. What, what year, year did Rolex start? Ooh, oh, boy, that question. was like, wasn't that in the 1800s or something? The late 1800s, Rolex. something like that? I think they, here? I think the first oyster was like in the 30s or there's the history, 1914. I yeah, there it is. Says it right in the front of the book. Let's show the book. Hold that on up there. And okay, so they can't really read it, but we'll show the pages of this later in the show. If you hang in there, we'll show some of these details and Brie will actually read us a little bit of this. You'll read a little bit for us. Okay. All right. There you go. Only cool. on this show, do we go to these, this extent? I oh, knew no. this show was coming. Derek in the house. I missed the earlier show today. We didn't do one earlier today. <laughs> so you're good. 
Craig, what do you think of the Hanhart 417 ES? This was the watch Steve McCrane wore daily. Can you pull it up on there? Okay. You open up a tab, pull up the Hanhart uh, 417 ES. See, I like having an assistant here because this way now I can have things pulled up and ready to go. I don't have to fumble around. This is assistant. this is good. This is this is good. There are no Rolexes at ADs. The salespeople say they never been. Uh, buy seen buying like this before there you go yeah it's a fervor it's a fervor going on it's a it, it, people are fomoing it's a fear of missing out of people missing are out. fomoing okay here's the watch and uh yeah i mean i think it looks okay i'm not a big chronograph fan i think they seem a little busy the chronograph is all this timing stuff and all that I just think it seems a little bit busy, but I'm not just not, not a bad. big chronograph, but I like just... it for a chronograph. I, I like it. I like the lugs on it. I, I like the look of it. Yes, yeah. I think I do like that. Um, all right. got to keep going here. We're going to get behind. Um, let's see. A gold. Uh, Leslie's favorite. Okay. Um, what's Breeze? Oh, what's Breeze? I'm trying to get. Okay. <laughs> Craig, Craig, will BTC go back under 30K? I doubt it. If it does, I will buy heavily. I will buy heavily, but I doubt it. Um, Bree, do you have any, what's that? Lululemon, it's like a brand, like a, a fitness brand. Okay, no, she doesn't right now. No, not yet. Uh, what's Bree's favorite Rolex? Uh, the Oyster Perpetual. Oyster Perpetual, like like a the, lady date lady and gold, date, yes. something like that? Yes. Yeah. We'll, we'll look. We'll look in the brochure, and we'll let you pick something out. We're going to look and let Bree pick something out of the brochure. Okay. Leslie's favorite. Okay, I guess is that brand. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She has to. Bree has to stumble she upon them. She works out at, a lot too. Yeah, so Bree, Bree has she... to stumble upon them at the Goodwill because that's where she shops. <laughs> <laughs> so the Literally, GW everything store. Everything I'm wearing right now is everything Goodwill. Goodwill yeah. GW store. Um, uh, the gold is loose. Six uh, percent. What happened? Uh, what, what does that mean? Sal saludos, like greeting, greetings, like greetings. greetings. Oh, OK. Like, hey, OK, bro. OK, OK, cool. All right. Hello, all Ultraman Red. Good. And um, let's see. Do you like, like the, the sea dweller? dweller? Yes, I do. But it's a little thick. I, I, I would rather still go with the now the original sea dweller wasn't quite as bad, um, but I still would rather go. Really, personally, for a GMT Master, just because it's a little thinner than the dive watches, and you still get plenty of water resistance. Uh, what did what did Steve loan you this week? LOL. Yeah, right. I can't even get him to uh, get me a Nothing. price. I can't even get him <laughs> to get me a price on the on the ring. So I bought it from Etsy. I bought one from Etsy. I might end up buying a gold one from Etsy. I'm trying to give him business, folks. I'm trying to give him business, <laughs> but hey, you know, if you snooze, you you lose in you this snooze, game. You lose. And Arwag says, is Bree coming to Steve's a little treasury party? Are you going to the I'm party? I'm planning on it. He, hopefully, if she's welcome there, she'll come. I'm invited. Yeah, she needs an invitation. We need engraved invitations is what we need. Kyle's in the house. Craig, if you go to, if, if you go to Steve's event, would you consider wearing the, the winger? The winger. Um, if it's that? still running, the battery might be dead by then. I think the last time I looked at it, it was still running amazingly. And I haven't had the ba battery replaced for like five years in that thing. Uh, do you own Dogecoin? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I don't play around oh. with any. I'm a long-term investor. I don't play around with these altcoins that come and go. They all come and go. Yeah, I'm long-term. Craig, now you got to get Bitcoin earrings. Hey, I'm thinking about it. Bitcoin I, I'm thinking about it. I, am, I, can, a... <laughs> I can be a hipster. I can be you a hipster. I can be a hipster, though. You know, I can be hip. Uh, Only if it's Bitcoin. <laughs> ring uh, would look better in gold. Yeah. yeah. As, well, if I'm, it depends on what I'm wearing. If I'm wearing the sport watch, I think the silver is great. But yeah, if I'm wearing my my gold my gold stunner, oh, oh, I'm wearing my gold stunner. Then, oh, I like then the on top. absolutely, I have to um, good. have nice. the. Um, Gold. I was watching Mark Goldberg. He said he will have a charity boxing match with you when you are ready. <laughs> oh my God. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, that would be a mess. Good okay. Um, when Bitcoin hits 1 million, you have to get a, a gold Bitcoin ring and a pendant. Well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, 
gold Bitcoin. Right I might now. have to get it before right that. Time. I'm 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 an old guy. I can't keep I can't keep waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I can't plan that long term. Right, that might be ten years from now. I don't even buy green bananas anymore. That's how far ahead I plan. Right, but no, I am a long term investor, so I'm kind of con contradicting myself. Craig, I'm pretty sure Craig could take the dog, man. There you go. <laughs> Uh, hi, Bree and Craig. Uh, Craig and Bree, totally digging the late night format. Keep them coming. Jens, oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, Craig Colin Scott emailed me asking if you could please unban him on YouTube. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we'll see. Have him email me direct and explain the situation. And let's not go through middlemen. Uh, hello, Jens. Okay. And we're going to try to get caught up here. Uh, I told Bitcoin, I told Bree she needs to stay <laughs> caught up in here. Now I can't keep caught up. Yeah, with Ken. Um, so, so I'm going to blast through these real quick here. I bought <laughs> some minty stuff at the GW store. Yes, yes, you can get some oh, really cool. good stuff. Uh, Craig, Craig, what is the worst good. case scenario when it comes to the Fed cracking down on BTC? Um, you know, it's interesting you mentioned that because they, there was a big, uh, thing in the infrastructure bill. There was some really, uh, negative, uh, legislation in there and there was a lot of pushback and it's, it, it hung the thing up for several days. And I think they backed down on a lot of the, uh, the really negative, uh, legislation. So it, it we'll see, we'll see how this whole thing plays out. I, I predicted before 2021 started, I said 2021 is going to be a wild year. OK. Oh, yeah. And I think that prediction has been accurate <laughs> so far. <laughs> it's a wild year. It's too wild. Uh, let's see. Um, so we'll see, uh, Boozer, what the what the worst case scenario is. I mean, if we get a chance later in the show to talk about it, we'll talk about it some more. But I got to try to catch up on these comments. Did Bree watch the hooping, hooping. at the Olymp Olympics? They Whoa, hooped I didn't know uh, Tom in the house. Um Reader, Steve Agreed. has something Steve. against you. He seems to not want you there. Does he not know beautiful women attract business? Hey, I don't know that he he doesn't want you there. He didn't say anything he like didn't that. Say anything. Right? He didn't say anything. I, I don't think we'll see. We'll see. I mean, she's a customer. She bought her faux pay. Show your faux pay. She bought her faux pay and from Grand him. Seiko. And the Grand Seiko <laughs> from him. So she should be, you know, well, uh, a VIP, hopefully. I would think. Um <laughs> and Leslie says hi everyone and talk about a very classy young lady Leslie um very stylish um Axie. if bitcoin goes under 30k Craig has has to buy a tutor no if it goes under 30k I'm gonna buy a bunch of bitcoin that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> and I had some buy orders Tutors. in and it did no dip way. below 30 briefly and and unfortunately my orders did not get filled um, but I did buy some a, a little bit higher than that uh but yeah if it goes below 30 um and i said last time i said if it goes down to 26k i was going to back the truck up and just buy you know like a madman but unfortunately it didn't get down there uh let's see the frederick.com logo should be iced out in diamonds Kyle. Ooh. uh bruno's in the house uh, let your assistant's voice be heard and relax you're a bit too serious smile more and place your monitor closer to your camera eye contact. Oh yeah, well, yeah, Bruno, you're right. I should make more contact with the with the actual camera, you know. Yeah. But but this is a totally interactive show. It's all about the comments and the interaction. So that's why it's kind of so formatted we look at this the way. But Bruno's stuff. a great guy. I, I took uh, some pictures of him at uh, Siesta Beach. Oh. And he's a, he's a he's a really good looking guy and a, and a good entertainer. And um, he's a, he's a smart guy. So all of these points are are, are, really? are absolutely well taken. Thank you for thank you for tuning in. We, we usually don't do these shows this late. And it looks like we got some new folks coming in. Did we broadcast this to my Facebook also? Yeah. Correct. Oh, OK. So that's yeah. why. So that's why he's in. OK, good. All right. And so. Um, Kyle Jett, uh, I say he will get a gold-plated Prevost. No, I don't buy plated things. I only buy things that are solid gold. So, yeah. Uh, busted down. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh-oh. Oh. Did it just jump? Okay. Don't you, uh, don't you love rider amendments? Yeah. Buried in the thing. Yeah. And then I'll tell you, they they caught you know what for that. It, they got a lot of blowback on, on all that, that legislation. LOL. Much better our wags. Um, 
I wish I could catch up on these comments so we can move on with the show. You guys seem to have more energy doing the show at this time. Um, Tom and our wag. Okay. Uh, Craig option on Prius five opinion on Prius five. I don't, I'm not that familiar with the latest Priuses. Mine is a 2004 model and it is a fantastic car. I'm sure they're still pretty good, but I know the older ones are good ones. Anything from 2004 on up, uh, that was the first year of that new body style and they're, they're great cars. Have you gone to see date eight yet? I asked instead of Derek, Tom asked <laughs> Kyle Jett and Derek, are you planning on going to the little treasury event in October? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Craig, does Steve have something against Bree? He seems to be okay. We already read we're, that. Read These that. things, this is jumping around on me here. Uh, it's almost, almost as beautiful as the gen one, one Prius. One. Okay, good. Craig, would you rather own a day date? Oh, the Gen 1 was not attractive. Okay, he's talking about the Gen 1. Yeah, that, that wasn't that great looking. Uh, Craig, would you rather have a Day-Date or Yellow Gold Sub? Uh, Day-Date or Yellow Gold Sub? Um, Day-Date. Uh, I like the subs, too, but Day-Date. Um, gold plating. Okay, junk. Okay, we're 18 karat gold or bust. Yes. Uh, I don't think a solid gold car would work. Plated Prius might be the only option now. That'd be tacky, though. Uh, thumbs up. Okay. Derek, uh, when is Steve having events? Uh, watch the last live stream. I had it on the ticker the whole time for gosh sakes. Come on. Yeah. Um, thought son, Omega Aquaterra on rubber strap. I like it. Um, Omega Aqu Aquaterra. But yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It depends on the Aquaterra. I send me a picture. We can take a look, Tom. Uh, but yeah, I like the Aquaterra. Any chance of interviewing Lisa Birnbach, Peppy Hembook? That would be cool. I did ask her if, if she would do that, but um, I didn't hear back. Tom in the house. Uh, Lance, are you going? Okay. All right. We're caught up. Let, let's show cool. the, um, let's show the brochure real quick here. The video <clears throat> bring archie on your show i don't think archie would come on the show Bree's dream car what's your dream car Bree? i don't have one she doesn't have a dream car she drives a honda accord right now and she likes it i like it so let's Gets play a little bit of this video go ahead Oops. okay so i was cleaning the place and i stumbled across this old brochure from the rolex ad that i purchased my 18238 from new back in the year 2000 and the brochure is in okay, mint condition so it. i figured i would okay so um so that's the th there's a separate video of this brochure here on my channel so you can watch that whole video but in the meantime let's bring up the photo one of the um watches of the brochure on your Flickr, right yeah it's it's on my Flickr. let's see here and um, we'll we'll go through this and pick pick some uh, dream car L LC five hundred. Yeah, that's a pretty wild car. I, I still like the LS sedans. I, I'd like an LS uh, LS four sixty or an LS four thirty. They're fantastic. Okay, so so this is the cover. Go to the next page, <clears throat> and this is page two that the talks history. about the history and so forth. So Bree, why don't you read? Um, 1914 and 1926. 1914. The Q Observatory certifies Rolex as the first wa wristwatch in history to outperform the pocket watch. 1926. The world's first truly water and shock proof watch is created when Rolex sculpts the re revolutionary oyster case from sol solid metal. 1927. Mercedes Glade C swims the English Channel wearing her Rolex Oyster swimmer and watch emerge in France, functioning flawlessly. 1947. World War II, ace Chuck Yeager wearing a Rolex Oyster flies faster than the speed of sound. Okay, there. Okay, stop it there. Um, all right, so there you go. A little bit of history, and we'll, we'll pick up later where you where you let off we'll, we'll pick that up next we got to leave them you know hanging in there so they got to wait right yeah it's called a cliffhanger 
or is it it's not it's not a cliffhanger, cliffhanger. It's yeah, a, cliffhanger. well yeah but it, it, there's another hope. term for it um but they'll they'll let us know in the chat what the yeah. term a teaser it's a teaser teaser that's what that is um okay what do you think of the oyster flex i'm not a big fan of the oyster flex i, I would rather have a, a, a standard bracelet or i would have a um like a leather strap on a on a watch i think but i mean i'm sure they're okay i just the bracelets are so nice on most Rolexes, especially if it's a president bracelet or a Jubilee bracelet, that I would go that direction. I got a chance to drive the LS 600 HL, hell of a car. Oh, there you go. Um, Rolex is changing their policy to three watches per year per address to stop the gray market craziness. About time. Okay, we'll see how that works. Um, Craig, when Kent comes over to your house, does he show up? And a horse and buggy. <laughs> no, he actually has a Prius also, a newer one. Would you guys wear pocket watches again? I would sometimes if I was wearing like a three-piece suit, I would. Chi-Town, are you and Kyle coming with Triforce to Stephen's event? Okay. All right. So let's see what else we what got here. Clive? Um, what happened to Clive? <laughs> Who knows? We don't know. Okay. So let's go back and let's go to the next part of the history there. 1953, timing their ascent on Rolex chron chronometers. Edmund Hillary and Tensing Norgay became the first become the first climbers to reach the summit of Mount Everest. 1960, Dr. Jack Picard uh, breaks the world's record with a 35,000 foot dive. The Rolex Oyster strapped to his ba bathe escape. Bath escape. Mm -hmm. Bath escape never misses a minute. 1979, Dr. Sylvia Earl driving to a death of 1,250 feet in the gym diving suit times her descent on her Rolex Oyster timepiece. 1986, the Rolex Geographical Society studying the Wahiba. Sands ecosystem in the Omen rely on Rolex timepieces to withstand extreme desert uh, temperatures. 1994, Hurley Haywood, wearing his Rolex Oyster, takes his record-breaking 10th endurance race win. Today, as they have for over 80 years, people with the spirit of adventure rely on Rolex. From conservation conservationists uh, like Dr. George uh, uh, Schaller working on the Chang Tang on Tibet to scientific teams crossing the Kimberley range in Australia from divers timing their ascents on the ch chilling depths of the Pacific to climbers like Ro Robert Anderson challenging the rarefied uh, heights of the world's tallest mountains they all rely on rolex per performance to help them through their often very hazardous uh, adventures as do many other slightly less adventurous souls all over the world there you go well that's right the watches are made to be worn made to be worn okay let's go we got to go this way to turn <clears throat> the page okay so you now okay. use this arrow to turn the page so we're okay. going that way Okay, so this is the um, the first page in the brochure. Oh, we're not sure. And um, what we'll do is we're going to go through the watches that would be a good idea to buy. Okay, um, let's see. Well, let me catch up on these comments there real quick here. Uh, probably not more than crazy hours. Okay. Um, uh, okay, so they're kind of con conversing among us. I've been to. Oh man, and Rolex isn't joking. It gets hot in the summer. Okay. Um, uh, next, read from a GS catalog. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, people are afraid to use their watches these days. Yeah, because they they think they're going to resell them for a big profit. Got to hand it to Rolex. Their marketing team can write very effective ad copy. Okay. All right. So let's see. Of these watches on the screen now, let's pick which one we would want. Okay. Um, what do you Mariner? think about the Submariner without a date? The one all the way on the left. I like it. Okay, uh, big thumbs up for Submariner big without the date. Without what about, the date. What about um, the uh, with Submariner the with the date? The one to the right of that, just up a little. I bit. like it too. 
Okay. And what about the sea dweller below it? Sea dweller. That one's good mm -hmm. too. Okay. I would like something um, legible. Like you something. like the bigger date. You like the cyclops. That's called the cyclops on the date that cyclops. magnifies the date. Yeah. Now, what do you think about the steel and gold pieces next to it? Uh, I like the blue one. I don't know about the black one. Okay. What about this all gold uh, blue with the blue dial there yeah, on the next page? That one's gorgeous. So, That's so, beautiful. You, so go for that one. On all this, all the watches on this page, which one would you pick? The the blue and gold. The the gold sub. The gold sub. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Two tones, nice too. Yeah, that that um, the silver and yeah, that that's silver? a a turnograph. That's got the that's a date just with a turnograph. That dial can turn around to do timing. So yeah, that's very nice too. The turnograph. Okay, all right. Let's turn the page. Okay. Turn the page. What about on this page? Uh, pep the Pepsi is that the Pepsi right? Okay, you you that's a Coke because that's got the Coca Cola co color. So that's a GMT Master. They call that the Coke. The GMT Coke. Master Two. Okay. When it's when it's that red color, that's yeah. the Coke. Okay. That is the one I had back in the day. I had that watch there, and then I also had an all black. This one here, but with on a Jubilee bracelet. This bracelet here, but it was all steel. So yeah. So that and that. You yeah, have a the, sharp eye. These, the Coke is definitely the way to go on that these page. These two are good. Yeah, I like these. Exactly. Kind of now, I what about like these over here on the right? The chrono the chronograph. I don't like them. They're kind of busy, right? Yeah, I don't like them. Yeah. And I don't even like this one. Too. Yeah, they didn't sell that well. The chronographs didn't sell that well. And you're not a big fan of the steel and gold uh, GMT2. I, I agree. Go not all gold really. or go home. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that one's good, but yeah, not these. Okay, so let's turn the page again. So notice she passed on all the, the Daytonas, which they didn't sell well back in the day either. Um, so, okay. So now we're on this page. I think this what is you, what Leslie has. That's very similar to Leslie's watch. Yeah. Yes. But hers is a, is a ladies. I don't think that's a, that, that's a little, this is a ladies here, but I think that's a, a like a three quarter size man's, Okay. but that's a good looking watch with the blue <clears throat> dial. Don't you think? Yeah, it is. Anything else here on the page you like? Um, maybe the lady oyster special. Yeah, <laughs> in the upper right with the with the <laughs> jubilee bracelet, the all gold. Yeah, I guess you do. Okay, good taste. Okay, and let's turn it. the page again. Okay, what do you like on this page here? Um, not the Roman numerals. Yeah, we'll pass on the Roman numerals. I agree. Uh, either the Oyster Pretzel date. Steel and gold. Steel with a smooth gold. bezel there, yeah. And the blue one. Yeah, with the Jubilee Steel and Gold. Jubilee Steel That's and Gold. That's a Jubilee bracelet, yeah. With a smooth bezel, yeah. What about the fluted bezel? Do you like that? Sure. Yeah. But See, the fluted bezel doesn't show scratches as much as the smooth. The smooth can show scratches yeah, a lot yeah, easier. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go to the next page. All right, what do you like on that page? I don't know. Nothing jumps out at you. No. I agree. They're all okay. <laughs> the one in the bottom left, that's a, uh, you know, an Oyster Perpetual with the uh, date just with the um, Jubilee bracelet. That's just a good all-around piece. Right, My right. first watch was a was a, a date uh, a date just with the jubilee. Okay. Um, okay. So let's. What about this page here? Again, the blue one. Okay, you like the blue dial, all gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And let's see here. That's it. That's the one you like the most. Yes. Okay. What about the bottom left? The um that you don't like. It's the, okay. The I just numbers don't like the, the numbers. Yeah. If it, it had just doesn't the, look if it classy. Had a, yeah. If it had a regular dial, you'd like the Jubilee. I mean, I already have my gold. Apple Watch, and that helps a lot. Yeah. So you, it's but you're, you're just looking for something a little more elegant looking. Oh yeah. All right. So keep going. Um. 
I don't like that. What about this? Um, the, the blue one, yeah, but the the blue dial, the the uh, yacht master with the blue dial, yeah, with the red type. That would be the that the looks, only one. That looks like could be good on a yacht, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, okay. Let's keep going. That's interesting. You like the one with the red rubies or whatever? Yeah, and that's in the nice. president bracelet. Mother of Pearl Present. doll with diamonds and things. Yep. And that would look classy. And you like the, that one, is that Actually, blue or is that Actually, all of these look nice. All, all of them on the left page. <laughs> <laughs> he says, <laughs> okay. Nothing on the right, though. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, the right is kind of gaudy. It's yeah. kind of getting gaudy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I agree. Good taste, like Brie. Whoops, I'm, I passed one. <clears throat> Cellini, I think we're going to hold off on Cellini for now they've got issues so we'll hold off on them for now um all right so let's see let's get caught up here um Dance what's Bree's second watch and brand um grand seiko needs to stick to a set of maybe eight watches instead of 250 good good point um uh, my Rolex uh, GS has many special dishes. Got to hand it to Rolex. Okay. GS has too many special editions. I agree with that. Um, my, my Rolex Pepsi with 70 plus power reserve can keep up with, can keep up with my Seiko LX spring drive in terms of accuracy, which I found is amazing. Wow. That is amazing. Uh, <clears throat> no date sub is the best sub in my honest opinion. I like the no date sub. Absolutely. It might be a little bit thinner, too, than the one with the date. I haven't confirmed that, but it might actually be. Grand Seiko needs to stick to a set of maybe eight watches instead of 250. That would always be a good idea. That would be a good idea for Rolex to pare back the number of models. I could see five Rolex models that would meet everybody's needs, and they wouldn't be selling anything questionable. They would all be stunners. I can name them right now. A um, a date just with a jubilee bracelet and a fluted bezel, and either steel or all gold. Forget the steel and gold. Um, a submariner, all steel, or a submariner all gold, no date. Uh, GMT two Coke with a jubilee bracelet. Available in all steel or all gold. A day date available in the metals it's available in right now. Actually, get rid of the rose gold. Just have yellow gold. Forget it. Just have yellow gold. Forget white gold, <laughs> platinum. Just have yellow gold day date. The gold. And, and call it a day. That would be enough. That's all anybody needs is that, that choice right there. Okay, uh, what's Bree's second watch brand besides Rolex? Uh, the, the Grand Seiko and the Rolex yeah, are yeah. the only two. So Submariner, I thought it, I thought it was called the Kyle. <laughs> the Kyle. <laughs> um, TBH. Uh, to be honest, the only two watches you could ever ask for are no date. Sub, sub and, a and a fluted, fluted bezel, bezel jubilee. jubilee. Like they just yeah, yeah, there you go. And uh, then the no date, in other words, the Kyle, yes. And, and can you imagine a no date sub in solid gold? My gosh, that would be a stunner. And go ahead and give a blue dial option. That, that's fine. Um, but yeah, that would be a stunner. Uh, Cheat Town, the no date, uh, 14060 pre ceramic submariner is awesome. There we go. I prefer the ceramic. Um, okay. Uh, I wish they still made all gold oyster perpetual. There you go. Yes, they should. Uh, I'm wondering if I should get the Panda Daytona or the gold sub with the blue dial. I already have the stainless steel sub 124070. Uh, I would not get the um, Daytona personally. I, I just think it's a no-fly zone for me. Uh, people are paying way too much money for those. I would go for the gold sub with the blue dial any any day gold of the week. Sub. If you can swing an all-gold uh, GMT Master, uh, that's a, a killer combo uh, with the um, Jubilee bracelet. Uh, they should never. They should have never gotten rid of the Super Jubilee. There you go. Good point. What's the cure for watch addiction, Craig? Says Tom in the house. 
get a really nice stunner and then call it a day and wear it and, and then focus on other things. That's what I say. Then focus on other things. Uh, nice glasses, Bree. Thank you. There you go. Um, and Gia I, and should I come up sunglasses. with, uh, yeah, go ahead and put your sunglasses on if you really want to see Bree and cool, cool Bree. There's the cool Bree. Gia should oh, come up with anything. names for each of their watch ranges like Rolex might be a reason why the snowflake is the most popular. Yes. Yes. They have a, they have no clue when it comes to marketing, but which is actually a good thing. Cause that means we can actually buy their watches. Cause if they were good at marketing, they would be sold out just like Rolex and then we wouldn't be able to get them. So I'm actually happy that they can't market their way out of a paper bag. <laughs> they should have no date options for, other subs just because i want precious metal doesn't mean i want a date on the dial i agree i agree they should allow yes they should have a sub all steel and a sub all gold notice i did not say submariner date they don't need the date on that watch um i would only get a panda daytona to flip yes if you could be one for list and flip it do it why not craig what do you think of persol sunglasses i, I think i like them pull them up Persol in that new tab there. Persol. Sunglasses. Pull them up. I think if I'm thinking of what I'm thinking of, I think I like them, but let's take a look. Since you a pick of Aqua Terra, Craig, and then we're going to have to check the email for that pick. Um, the Japanese don't care about marketing. They are a different culture. They're all about their art. That's right, which is good. Like I say, it's good because we can actually buy them. Free with the shades is the highlight. Yeah. Uh these what do you, do you think yeah let's see yeah yeah see that's the one he steve mcqueen this pull this photo up click on this photo here make it large yeah yeah those are cool they he wore those in the thomas crown affair that picture's from the thomas I, crown I, affair. I like it i think they're cool i absolutely like them yes that's that is a a big thumbs up Big thumbs up on those shades. Um, okay, pull up the Aqua Terra for oh, Tom. The email. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, I second that, Craig. GS is the best kept secret in the horology world. I don't want them to be another Rolex. Hey, and if it happens now, that'd be fine because I've already got my stunners. I've got this stunner on wrist that'll last a lifetime. And I've got that stunner right there on the bench, ready oh, to go, too. ready to go. So I'm happy if they start getting sold out everywhere and you can't get them. I've already got mine. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I've got my Bitcoin folks. So there you go. That's how that works. Steve McQueen had to be the coolest guy ever. Did you, did you look up to him? Craig, I loved him in the getaway with Ale McGraw. I, who I really looked up to was Ale McGraw in that movie. <laughs> but anyway, did we watch that? Did we watch the getaway? Get I, don't away, I don't, think, I don't so. think we watch it. We should check that out. Okay. That's a great movie. That was one of the first movies that I saw in the movie theater. I think that was like, I think it might've been an R rated movie at the time. And I was a youngster when that came out and um, I went and saw it and I was just so impressed. I thought it was so cool. I thought it was so cool the way he wrapped up that shotgun in the paper. And then he walked out and he like ripped the paper where you load it. And he's, he's loading it while he's walking towards the, the cop car. <laughs> he was so cool. That movie, if you haven't seen it, it's The Getaway with Steve McQueen and Ali McGraw. Getaway. Yeah, I mean, he's just a, he was always a super cool guy. Um, it's a shame, again, they didn't know about the smoking. They didn't know that the smoking was killing people and, and uh, he died of cancer. Oh, my gosh. He died of cancer too young. Almost all of the movie actors did. Yeah, they all smoked back in the day. Um, Don't smoke, guys. Will be will Bree be showing off her dancing moves? Yeah. Um, you can dance a little bit, um, but I don't know it's if we adjusted camera. the camera, yeah. um, but we can do that. Why does GS not make a solid gold bracelet? There are a few models that, especially in Japan, only models that are all gold with all gold bracelets, but they're not real common. Craig, are you a fan of The Godfather and Part 2? Yes, I thought those were good movies, but I wouldn't say they're my favorite. A lot of people say they're their favorites. 
movies that stand out for me are like Apocalypse Now. That was really impressive. And, th and these are movies that I saw for the first time on the big screen on 70 millimeter with Dolby sound, you know, the big curve screen down at the Uptown Theater on Connecticut Avenue here in D.C. Um, and, you know, so they really had an impression on me. Uh, movies like um, uh, Indiana Jones, uh, the, the first one, um, uh like the one I just mentioned, uh, the getaway, uh, I saw at a drive-in theater, I saw the movie with John Wayne. It was, um, hell fighters where he played red Adair. Talk about a guy that wore a Rolex, um, red Adair. He played red Adair in that movie, uh, the hell fighters. And that I saw at a drive-in theater when I was young and when it first came so. out. And, and that was a really impressive movie to me. So those are the movies that are really impressive to you, I think, are the ones that you saw when you were young on the big screen and you were just so, like, impressed. Um, yeah, yeah. And movies like Pulp Fiction, yeah, I like that movie. But, again, it's not going to have the impression on me because it wasn't a, a coming-of-age movie that I saw when I was relatively young and saw on the big screen. And and, uh, and you were just so impressed with with, with some of those some of those movies, uh, and you guys are the same way, I'm sure. So, um, and, uh, Bree's, Bree's favorite movie, enough of the no. old man. Okay. What do you like? What movies? Um, Audrey Hepburn movies. You like, you like the ones with the classy ladies, the classy ladies. Let's face yeah. it. Right. Yeah. Cause I want to be like them. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what, that's what, uh, you, you like to watch is you like to watch people that you'd kind of like to emulate they, they them. dress elegantly yeah and talk like they're rich and stuff so. <laughs> <laughs> they carry themselves nice the, posture yeah. all that stuff definitely yeah so, so things like that so which audrey hepburn movie did you like um i liked let's see here the one where she learns how to act um oh funny face funny face the one where she's like a model you mean no, where, where she learns how to, um, they teach her to act elegantly and stuff in classy. Oh, oh, movie. My Fair Lady. My Fair Lady. Oh, one. yeah. That was a great one. My Fair Lady. Yeah. Yeah. But you really like all her movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Breakfast at Tiffany's. At Tiffany's. Yeah. Funny yeah. face. So, uh, oh. so Bree's not your, your normal uh, youngster. She, she likes some of the classic uh, stuff too and some of the you know yeah so the recent movies are not <laughs> sorry but yeah. you saw one the other day um the tourist with um angelina jolie wow yeah, yeah that was you, a good she one. was real classy you liked that yeah yeah so um okay oh yeah we got to show this yes that is a stunner i like it i like it two big thumbs up i like the case shape i like the dial i like it Yes. Cool. I'd have to feel how that strap feels, though, the plastic on my skin and all. Maybe I would want that on a bracelet or on leather instead. But, yeah, I like the watch. Um, okay. Stephen Queen died from asbestos. John, John Wayne did, died, died because, because he decided, he decided to, be to be Genghis Khan, Genghis and Khan. nearly everyone died from radiation-related cancer. Yeah, when they did, they filmed oh. those. They filmed some of John Wayne's stuff in an area where they had been testing nuclear bombs and stuff. There was actual radiation there. And so that caused a lot of problems. And But also the smoking. A lot of these people smoked a lot. Um, and they didn't know back in the day. Audrey Hepburn died of, of cancer, and she smoked a lot. And yeah. they didn't know there was a connection between that. But yeah, the, the radiation in the desert there was also a problem. <clears throat> Absolutely. Abs positively lutely. Is that a Is new it... necklace, Brie? Uh, no, it's, it's, I've had it it's for some time. It's a Bitcoin one, yeah. It's a Bitcoin one, yeah. GS makes a 9F and all 18 carat. Um, there's one available on JDM. I can shoot the listing over to Craig if you want to check it out and show it on the broadcast. Yeah, feel free to email it over if you'd like. We have showed a few of those already, um, and they're, they're pretty interesting. Um, Once About a Time in the West was an amazing movie. Henry Fonda, Charles Bronson. Yes, that was a good one. I liked also Charles Bronson in The Mechanic. I liked Charles Bronson in um, 
uh, Hard Times, I think it was, the one where he's a fighter. Um, that was a really good one. There's just so many great movies from the 60s and 70s. Um, but, you know, like I say, the younger folks might not relate to them, but but some, some of those movies are really good. And some of those movies, they really relied on uh, the dialogue, really good dialogue, really good writing, because they didn't have all this, the the modern effects that you can do on the movies now right so they had to have really good acting and really good dialogue Definitely. and really good costuming uh to make it uh, entertaining craig did you see the movie the american it stars george clooney and it's one of the best modern suspense movies i've seen i think i did see it i think i did see it sometimes all these movies kind of like gel together and it's hard for me to separate out which it was but i think i that does uh ring a bell uh, let's see, Craig, what do you think of mixing metals like wearing a gold necklace and stainless steel watch or ring? I think it can be done. I, I think I would rather not if possible, but I, I think it can be done. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not the end of the world if you have a like I'm wearing this this silver ring. If I was wearing my gold stunner with it, it, it would work. Would it be better if this ring was also gold? Probably. But you can also go too far with all that. Um, sometimes it might be good to break it up with something that's a little bit different. Yeah. Um, te telephone. Telephone. Oh, that movie. Okay. Yes. Good oh, one. Yes. I haven't seen that one. He wears a he wears a speedster in the American. I think you mean a speedmaster. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, you know, and I like some of um, Arnold Schwarzenegger's movies. I like the Terminator movie, especially the original one. Uh, okay. Again, same thing. I saw it, you know, when it first came out. And uh, we added the I'm back video clip in the, the what? thing here. When he said, I'm back, I'll be back. Oh, oh I'll yeah. Be back. I'll be back. Yeah, 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 yeah. You had that added that to yours. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Craig, should I sell my Explorer and get the Aqua Terror and invest the difference? Um, if you like the Aqua Terror and if you can get a good lick for the Explorer, if you can come out of the Explorer okay, uh, I see I see no reason why not, Tom. I see no reason why not. I like it. I like it. Craig, did you like Cool Hand Luke? Yeah, I've got that um that uh that clip from it. Uh we'll play that clip in a second here. So are you a fan of the Great Gatsby movie, Brie? Oh, you, have you seen that? The Great, Gas the Great Gatsby? Gatsby? I don't think you've seen that, have you? Actually, I saw the original one. Yeah, I did. You did? I did. Okay. I did. And it was a good one. Good. Yeah. Good, good. Okay, let's let's play that. Um, <clears throat> let's play that clip from Cool Hand Luke. Um, uh, let's see here. Oh, first let's show this picture of Paul Newman. And that's when he was wearing his uh, his watch. Oh, I got to take off the um, the comment so that we can see it because it's hiding the watch. There's the watch. Okay, so let's go down here to the movie clips, and here it is. <clears throat> what we've got here is failure to communicate. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That was with uh, Paul Newman. We'll click on this and click off. Um, he was in that movie. That was Cool Hand Luke. That's where that that clip comes from. So pretty wild movie. Um, okay. Uh, Can we show our my outfit. Yes. Uh, let's read this one though. The original Terminator has a hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes. It's an absolutely perfect movie. I could watch that scene where he kills all the cops on replay forever. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh. I would keep it. Okay. Um, Terminator two was also great. Everything after that was just terrible. Yeah. Terminator two was okay. Um, all right. Okay. Let, what are we going to show? We're going to show this picture here. Um, and my outfit. Yeah. Okay. So you want to show the picture? Let's show the picture and then you can be getting up while we're showing the picture okay. and then we'll, we got to adjust the camera. So here's the picture. All right. Let's adjust the camera. You got to pull this chair out of the way. There we go. Got to focus here. 
focus this. Go ahead and get in place and I'll focus it first. Um, move a little bit this way. Okay, hold it right there. All right, that is ready. I will cut to that camera. Ah, okay, camera two. There is Bree's outfit for today. She definitely looks like a movie star with those sunglasses on. And Brie belongs in a cover of a magazine. <laughs> Thank you. And John says 90% of modern actors are too girly. Charles Bronson would have knocked them out. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. Okay. All right. And it's okay. So Noel says no music. No, not this time. No music this time. But you got to tune in. Tune in to her YouTube channel. She's going to be yeah. releasing some new stuff. That's just a teaser. That's called a teaser there. She's going to be releasing some new content some soon. <clears throat> yes, she will. She uh, pictures too. Um, let's see. No music. Derek says, Craig, when did it come acceptable to be fat? Um, that's a good question. I think the, you know. Just when everyone started. To I, eat I junk think, food. I think, yeah, I think that what happened was a combination of a lot of cheap food available that was you know, very fattening food, if you want to call it that, whatever you want to call it. Um, and a lot of people getting fat kind of at the same time. And it, you can't really like attack everybody. Right. But it used to be that people were shunned if they were fat and it was pointed out, Hey, you got to do something about that and all that. And people, you know, people didn't really put up with it as much. And now of course it's like, you got to accept it's it all. Right. And like, like, you know, it's not their fault and all this stuff. Uh, and, but I'll tell you, that's insulting to people that actually try to take care of themselves and, and do the right thing and, and eat right and exercise. It's not easy to stay in shape. It really isn't. Yeah, it's not and easy. for people to say that, you know, it's not their fault. It has nothing to do with what they eat or what they do. It's just, you know, you just have to accept it and all this. Uh, th that's insulting to people that do take care of themselves, I think. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think it should be accepted. I, I think it should be dealt with. And, and I think especially kids, I think it's so sad that parents take their kids and feed them full of all this crap. And you see like a 10 year old kid obese. I mean, it's just I think you should take the parent off to the side and beat the crap out of them, if you ask me. But anyway, that's just that's just me. I'm old fashioned. Bronson worked in a coal mine, if I'm not mistaken. He he was a badass. <laughs> he really was. <laughs> Charles Bronson. We'll have to watch one of his movies sometime. You'll have to check it out. Uh, great movies. Moves Bree. Brilliant. There you go. Thank you. Um, he did. Uh, you could tell he lived a hard life. He wore it on his face. There you go. Um, Tom Austin in the house. Um, why does Rolex attract some what what wanner wa wonkers wonkers wankers. anyway wankers yeah probably wankers craig okay. um you know anybody can buy a watch right and so yeah i mean wankers can buy a watch absolutely uh it's gotten kind of it's, it's gotten pretty bad though lately i think it's worth I, I think back in the day it you just bought a watch because you, you wanted to wear a nice watch. If you could afford it, you bought a nice watch and you wore it. You didn't collect like 15 of them. I mean, it was just wasn't really a thing. It was very rare. But anyway, this is just a whole different thing going on now. I was at Walmart the other day and 
got fat, you got woman, fat woman on the wall, wall to advert underwears okay yeah yeah now they are talking to they're now they're a lot of clothing lines are promoting that they have clothing that looks good on fat people well they're smart because they got a big market right two-thirds of the people are obese right so the more people are obese than are not so they've got a market market to those people being obese became acceptable when, when junk food corporations bought out the lawmakers there you go basically um And uh, Craig, modern society wants girls to think it's okay to look like Lizzo. It's disgusting. Uh, Look her up, Lizzo. Oh, Um, yeah, she's a singer. The way she is perfectly, they say she's perfectly healthy. Okay, let's see. No, I don't think so. Let's see who this is. I don't know who we're talking about. I'm not hip. I got to see who we're talking. Oh, she's big. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's big. yeah, yeah, that's ridiculous. That's very that's unhealthy. Not, that's not healthy at all. Yeah, that's unhealthy and <laughs> yeah, it's no. not it's really no, no, no. Let's not show any more of that. It's really not attractive. It's not healthy. <laughs> There's not a good idea. That's just not a good idea. I I just looked her up. Ha ha. Um let's see. Um uh, I got put in Facebook jail for two weeks because I called Laurel Hubbard, the transgender weightlifter, a man when he is a man. <laughs> OK, I hear you. The reality is food is too plentiful now. Many are overeating above the maintenance calories and BMR without even realizing it. OK, um, yeah, it takes real effort to eat right and to be in shape. It, take, it takes a lot of effort. Bree puts a lot of effort into it. Um, yeah. It's not easy, and uh, but I think it's worth it. Uh, I selfishly do it because I don't want to have to buy all new clothes. It, it would cost me, you know, how much money it would cost me to buy all new clothes, like like bigger sizes and stuff. Yeah, if I put on like thirty pounds, uh-huh. how much do you think it would cost me to replace all my clothes, my sport coats, my suits, my shirts, oh my, my pants, God. everything? You've seen how much I have, right? Mm-hmm. How much do you think it would cost to replace everything? Figure those sport coats are about two thousand dollars a piece. Fifty thousand, I think. Oh, probably a lot more than that. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh my god. Probably a lot more than that. <laughs> Be fifty thousand just in sport coats. Oh my god. Um, so yeah. So no, don't uh, don't give me. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's ridiculous, Craig. You're getting uh, canceled. Uh oh. So I'm not supposed to be able to say these things. Oh, but her man. legs look like cottage cheese. <laughs> oh god. Oh, god. <laughs> that's terrible. Uh, body shaming and now misgendering i better walk slowly away from this one yeah got to be careful it's serious if you say anything bad about lizzo they say you are shaming her and a terrible proportion the mob attacks you yeah that is terrible that is really terrible um kids are addicted to technology rather than playing outside that's part of it too that's right they're not in motion they're not making things happen uh brie how long do you work out a day um i would say at least two hours yeah at least two hours total Um, total yeah like walking sprints push-ups and you do um Um, you're on the every other day push up and arms right tell them what you do on even days and then odd days even days i do three or four sets of push-ups, um, 15 repetitions each and a lot of walking, um, a lot of some sprints, like maybe like four sets Mm -hmm. and I got to do like four, you know, going back and forth. And of course the dancing, the the dancing, the hoop dancing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Well, let's see. It all sounds easy, but it's not. <laughs> we were going to show, let's show some more of your photos and you can yeah, tell, there's, tell there's a little not. bit about the photos as you show them. Yeah, that's the, the shirt I'm wearing right now. These are actually different jeans. The cowboy hat. Is it, this mm-hmm. is Buffalo. Look, yes. Buffalo. Full hat. Buffalo felt. And I got a new waist chain. So I'm wearing it there. And these these are just um, sporty clothes. This is a cool Balt- Baltimore Ravens um, jean shorts. 
And they were like new condition. Yeah. At the GW store. Yeah. And I really like this outfit. It's really nice. And you got all that at the GW store. Yeah, all of this at the GW store, except for the boots. Mm -hmm. the boots. eBay. They're eBay. And it was like golden hour because. And that tree the, in the background the is changing. Hitting. That tree in the background is changing colors already. That's so you're up here on the mountain, a little bit of elevation. We're already got a tree changing colors. Yeah. Fall colors coming in. See those fall colors in the background? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, and you were backlit, a little bit of backlighting on your hair there. <clears throat> These are from like the, I think the seven, no, the six, when Kent and I went did a live. show, when you did a live show, yeah. Oh, and I can show his, his photos too. Right. Sure. Let's cut back to us and then you can find them. Um, okay. So I'm going to read a few more uh, art and we're going to wrap this pretty soon. The Olympics was great. Did you watch any of it? I didn't, I didn't watch any of it. I don't know if it's on um, like YouTube or anything. I don't have regular they cable TV. It, unfortunately. Yeah. I don't have cable TV. So Craig, I'll be honest, maybe wearing max masks would be a good idea. Stops people from sitting at the office all day, stuffing their faces with junk food. Good point. That's true. Um, just be told that we are coming in a day we are coming to a day when a man refusing to have sex or refusing the advances of a transgender will be considered offensive for the transgender <laughs> oh my god advances advances <laughs> advance yeah brie is one of those people that looks good in everything thank you and uh shout, shout out, out to, to goodwill, goodwill. <laughs> there you go um see wolf uh we're already there yeah um brie should be a sponsor of goodwill by... yeah well here's the thing sure. brie has a big advantage when she goes and shops at goodwill because you wear the small sizes and i think that a lot of women can't wear those sizes that and, you buy and sometimes they donate them because they get wider and stuff yeah yeah they it's well sad, i think but... i think two things happen i think sometimes they buy them and they, they never fit, wear them and they fit initially but then they put on weight and then they can't wear them anymore but i think sometimes they buy them and it's wishful thinking they buy like, it oh, thinking yeah. they're going to be able to fit into it and then they get home and realize they can't <laughs> fit into it and then they say, well, I'll just put it in the closet and I'm going to lose some weight. Right. And then I'll be able to wear it later. And then they never lose the weight. <laughs> right. So it sits in the closet for a couple of years. Oh, my God. And then they they end up finally donating it. Uh -huh. And so it's, it's still in mint condition. Uh -huh. They never wore it because they never could wear it. And then you buy it and you can wear it. So that's how that whole thing works. That's a pretty good that's, deal. Yeah. Um, and it's really cheap. You can get really good uh, so stuff. So Chi Town's in the house. Chi, Chi Town says the issue I have is a lot of stuff at the Goodwill I find is oversized and I wear small. Well, interesting. Well, she's finding a lot of small stuff and she's able to get it. Well, for men, it's kind of maybe for men tricky. it's different. Yeah. Maybe for men it's different. It's yeah, there you go. Tricky. All right. Oh, well, can we show? Oh, yeah. Let's show this one. This is uh, Brie with Kent, and this is uh, these were taken right after the show, right after you did the the live show. There's a black, black and, and white, white. and um, and yeah, so that, so that was a good show that you guys did. And he says he's going to come down to do another one. So that's always a good thing. <clears throat> yeah, that was it. Absolutely. Um, let's see. Cool. Noel says, uh, thanks Brie for the show and the guy next to you, Bitcoin to the moon and Doge. Ah, come on with the Doge. Okay. Um, Doge. <clears throat> I remember shopping at a Marshall's on the South side of Chicago. Everything was XXL and gargantua sizes only. Whoa. Um, oh, by the way, um, no, is it? No, is that pronounced? No, no. No. Um, she does do shows from time to time by herself. So be sure to tune in and, and hang out with her when she's doing a show by herself. You will have opportunities to do that. I remember, okay, we already read that. And I found a brand new Canali suit at Goodwill once with tags on it. It was only $40. That's right. Those are the kind of deals you can find sometimes. Yep. All right. We're going to wrap it up. Wrap, wrap, wrap it up. Thank you, everybody, for watching. 
and we will do it again. Uh, let's put this one last comment up. Poor Bree would struggle to find anything that fits at a Goodwill in Houston. Why? But there's a lot of big people there. Well, there yeah, might maybe. still be some small stuff that they bought thinking they were going to be able to wear it. <laughs> That's possible. Maybe. Lance or Carlos can call in. Derek doesn't want it to end. Uh, Craig, go to Hoffman's Market tomorrow. We went, we had bought two Hoffman subs the other day. And I post pictures uh, already. And yeah, go. let's go ahead and show them the picture. What the heck? Um, let's see. <clears throat> should be at the top up there somewhere what happened to, there it is there it is let's show them that's a, that's those were that's, amazing that's one of the subs that we had uh yesterday cold cut subs cold cut we, we bought cold cut and roast beef both and that's that was the cold cut right there amazing subs. all right hoffman's market you can find them on frederick.com absolutely all right well thank you everybody for watching we will do this again sometime soon are you still looking to buy a coach or an ambulance yes at some point i'm going to buy something i'm sure thanks tom thanks Goodbye. again everybody for tuning in thank you